I wanted to share um, an insight that I gained in, during one of my tours of Falling Water. And so I've, I've toured Falling Water seven times. I think I started like touring in like 2006 or so, 2007. And it was, it was on my second tour that when we entered Edgar Kaufman Jr.'s study, which you see here, it was originally his bedroom, but he decided to move his bed to the hallway and use this as a study. Something was really bothering me. And I really, I finally figured out what it was. And while we were in this room, I asked the tour guide about it. And, and what was bothering me was primarily that you've got this vertical window that goes all the way to the floor and it was obstructed the views obstructed by bookcases and books and i thought frank Lloyd Wright he wouldn't have designed a, a wall of bookcases to cover a window he would have left the win window so it was fully visible and nothing was obstructing it obviously and any architect would so i thought so I, so I asked the tour guide i said well i i I can't believe that Frank Lloyd Wright designed these bookcases like this at covering a window. And the tour guide had no response. They didn't know what to say. They seemed like they had never been asked that question, hadn't been taught anything about this. Um, so I came back the next year <laughs> and when we were in this room, they had added to the tour something about the bookcases. And what they said was that um, for, in the original design, Frank Lloyd Wright, did not have any bookcases. But when Edgar Jr. decided to make this a study, he designed these bookcases. And um, they said that he, um, he got approval from Frank Lloyd Wright for the design. And I wasn't buying that. I, 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 it didn't make any sense to me. I mean, I, I believe he, he designed it clearly. It's, it's amateurish. I mean, not, not only is that a problem, it, it just looks odd because you've got the whole, you know, the, this, the portion that goes against this wall goes the full length of the wall and comes to the end. Yet this one only goes this far. You'd think the first symmetry would come all, it would come all the way to the edge here. But then you have the problem of the cabinet so this this space looks odd. Also, the 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 room has this length, and you'd think that they would balance the the. They're emphasizing the length by having the the longer bookcase be on the long wall, right? And I would have thought if they were going to emphasize the width of the length, they'd emphasize the width with the bookcase um, to to serve as a counterbalance to the to the fact that it's a long wall, a uh, long room this way. So it it didn't add up to me. And, and I toured it, you know, five more times, four or five more times after that. And, and it bothered me every time, but they kept that spiel in the tour. And at, at some point about three years ago, after another, another tour I took, I contacted someone who would know for sure. Because I, I, I wanted to know, like, is there documented evidence and proof that Frank Lloyd Wright looked at this design and approved it? And this person I spoke to who would know for sure said, no, there is no documented proof. We have no story from uh, Edgar Kaufman Jr. saying that he passed it by Lloyd Wright and that he approved it. There's nothing in writing, no stories on, on the Frank Lloyd Wright side the, that he made some comments. So, so they, they don't know that he approved it. And my guess is that he did not approve it. I don't think he would have approved this because it looks so horrible. And I don't think he would have wanted a window obstructed this way. So um, I just wanted to share that, that, uh, that insight with you um, in case there's anyone else who's, who sees this or who tours the, the building and is bothered by that.